visibility would be the first step to, to protect yourself. So knowing about all the devices that exist. Second would be to manage the risk. So monitor those devices and continuously uh, control that risk, uh, knowing what services they are. Running. Um, then uh, I would do uh, a segmentation of the network. So make sure that those devices are connected to the right place in the network. Uh, that you don't put the IP security cameras with the end users so they won't have access to those cameras as well as well as an attacker from the outside so make sure that that segment is well isolated uh, so that would be the, 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 the second step uh, and the last step would be to monitor the behavior of those devices uh, so if something changes with the, the behavior uh, then you should react to that uh, immediately and of course, the last part is control and automate that control. So not just alerting things, but taking actions as well and doing that as much as you can automatically. To better understand the scope of this, so IDC has actually updated their projection from 30 billion devices to 200 billion devices by 2020 uh, of the amount of devices, connected devices into the network. Uh, so this is going to become, this is a huge issue and it's going to become even greater uh, as time passes. So I think the biggest risk with uh, internet connected devices today for organizations is first of all the visibility of those devices. So understanding that they are connected to your network uh, and then that they are uh, pose some threat to your, uh, to your uh, environment, to your network. Those IoT are just unmanaged devices put on uh, the network by the operating uh, operation side of our uh, organization and they are not patched, they're not running the latest firmwares, uh, no one knows how to handle them and sometimes put on the wrong segment uh, which creates operational issues, uh, so for example IP conflicts or some devices uh, can just you know uh, issue the ECP requests or replies and then cause just uh, uh, network issues on your network uh, but also security threats direct security threats where those devices can act like a trojan to your network uh, or someone can actually hijack that device and then either violate your privacy or cause some kind of denial of service for your uh, crown jewels The ability to work from different places, to work from we work, uh, to work from those shared workspaces is something which becomes a new reality and again enhances the productivity of people uh, and allows new options and new freedom uh, to everyone. With that comes the risk of working from unsecured environments, from places that just are much more exposed uh, to risk. So uh, having an endpoint without a firewall without an anti-malware, without a protection against ransomware, which is not running the latest patches in such unsecure places, in those shared workspaces, can be uh, a huge threat to organizations. So you need to control that risk and put a line and decide where you want to better, better put the emphasis on. Um, whether you allow people to connect to your VPN, for example, without an antivirus or not. Um, and, and, and that's, I think, one of the challenges you know, of this new workspace, mm -hmm. new way to work uh, in this dynamic BYOD environment.